Hey everybody, welcome back to Ready City Play. It's episode 10 of Tainted Grail. We're still going <laughs> on our noble quest yes. to do to save all the land from weirdness. <laughs> We're doing our best. <laughs> I, when I say it like that, I, I quite like being weird. I'm a little sad that we're trying to vanquish the weirdness. I wish they'd called it corruption or darkness or something. Uh, yeah, but weirdness spelled with a Y. Yeah, but, you know, weird. <laughs> yeah, but weirdness is evil. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be weird. <laughs> I like being weird. I don't want to be normal. That's boring. <laughs> Alright, so you've got to... You were going to do a hunt, weren't you? Yes. Alright, we're going for a hunt at the Mirror Lake. We're going on a bear hunt. Ailey is going for a hunt. Mm. Niam is still chilling out thinking about what she did. Alright, judging from the tracks in the sand, many animals come here to drink at the Mirror Lake. Yes. Take a green card, I assume. Lake. <laughs> Go to verse 6. Killing the game in the sacred places is frowned upon, oh. but at least you don't have to wait long. Within minutes, a wild pig emerges from the forest and starts to lap the water of the lake. Your attack surprises it, as if it never expected a predator in this place. A moment later, as you butcher the pig on the sand, you experience a sudden surge of dread. You're sure something is watching you from under the mirror-like surface of the water, and it isn't pleased. Oh no. Ooh. No, I don't think I should go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Don't forget to spend your energy. I gain two food. Each party member loses a rep. Oh. That's not good. And gains a terror. Mm. Womp womp. The two food. Two food. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, give us a purple, please. There we go. I just like how you took that one back and then gave me the other two. <laughs> <laughs> really um, place a time token on this location. I don't know what this is for, but it's ominous. Exploration ends. And so does our day. Oh. I've forgotten what day we're on now. It's oh, wait, I've that been... started on seven, right? So end of day five. We're going into day six. Yes. I think we've done quite well, actually. Sure. So, um, consumer food. Okay. Mr. Butchering the, sac butchering the Sacred Pigs over there. Yeah, that's not good. That wasn't very good, was it? Yeah. I feel like we should have known that. Mm -hmm. It should have been like, you know better than this. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, I didn't know the Mirror Lake was a sacred place. I suppose we should have probably known that. Um, right, so we lose a terror, except you you don't. Except I don't. Gain a hit point. Slowly recovering. Slowly. God, it's so slow. Um, restore energy to full. I still don't have enough XP for the one thing I want. We can modify our deck. I don't want to. Uh, and we're going to have dreams. Dreams, dreams, dreams. Dreams, dreams. Is there a dream symbol on the mirror lake? Yes. There is. Okay, let me do that for you. I need another three experience points. And then I need an aggression. Because then I'll be have one in each. Yes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You see four wanderers, still shaken by the loss of their companion, entering the misty expanse of Tuathan. They wander between its ever-shifting streets and impossible structures. They find something hidden away for a long time. All four barely leave with their lives, but now a fifth follows. Your dream ends as they enter a sprawling expanse marked with enormous white sigils. Gain part one of the Dreams and Prophecies status. What does that mean? The first expedition visited Tuathan and passed through Stampede while running from something. Yeah, I mean, this is actually linked back to what we're doing in the prototype version, if you remember. We actually had this dream in the prototype version as well. And basically, this is Stampede down here. It's this little town, and these are the white sigils they're talking about. Right. But the figure following them out, this is Tuathan up uh, here. Right. This is actually, it looks like um, the, this is a misty land of the four dwellers. Right. Um, but uh, I don't remember what. I don't know who the fifth figure is. There was a fifth figure. Ooh. We don't know who he is. So I need the dream for, uh, what? Is it there one There isn't one. Oh, there's no dream symbol. I don't have one. Sad. Mm -hmm. Have a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. nice. All right, so now we're back to start of the day. Okay. So uh, we don't have any time tokens to tick down. Oh, I do. So, womp womp. <laughs> this goes. Womp womp. So does this. 
My pale crystals, no. So is that one? That's on yeah, that, one. That was on two, wasn't it? Yeah. So I should build one now. Okay. We're about to lose access to Grubwood, so if you wanted to go there, now's your time. You told me no. <laughs> uh, we need a new event. And this is an exciting one because it's chapter two, part two. Mm. Many refugees. Many people of Kaunact no longer believe their farmhold can survive. You meet them on the trail as they run with their meager possessions. <laughs> You do your best to convince them that even an inactive men here offers some protection in its vicinity, allowing isolated pockets of civilization to survive. They do not listen, and choose the dangers of the trail instead. Each player gains one free diplomacy deck advancement. Mm. Place six random encounters on top of the event deck, and then discard this card. Yeah, we said it would add a bunch of events, didn't yeah, we? Cool. Um, hint, do not let the weirdness surround you. Always check the nearby men here in advance and have a plan ready to activate them when necessary. I mean, yeah, we know. We know. We are pros, what? So we need an advancement in diplomacy. One, two, three, four, five, no. six. Minus two. You really aren't reading this, are you? Two. Minus one per player. Alright. <laughs> Play six, minus one per player. Yeah, well. <laughs> so says you. <laughs> That's combat. That's diplomacy. So we get one of these, yeah? Uh, yep. Well, I, we draw three, pick one, and then shuffle the other two back in. Oh, I see. I assume. Um, did it say, uh... Because the last one said, as per the advancement. Yeah. Each player gets one free diplomacy deck advancement. I'm just going to assume that this is how it's done. Because it's more interesting mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have one of hers. Hey, I finally got some Naim cards. Yay! Nature's patience. Gain two charges. Pay a charge to prevent a discard. Pay a charge to prevent a down. Quite like this. I think I'm going to have to keep de escalation. I don't understand what this means. The response. What's the response? Pleading. Ah, <laughs> uh, enemy response. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Yes, this is like the last enemy turn. One up for each point of wounds. All right, so basically if I'm wounded during the diplomacy, I can almost like complete, like if I'm really wounded, it will go up one on the infinity track for each wound I have. Oh, wow, that's good. So if I'm really wounded, I'm just like, please don't kill me. And they're like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to take that. <laughs> that sounds good. See, that's... Uh... Gain two charges of nature's patience, and then prevent uh, pay a charge to prevent a discard or prevent going down. That's good. Yeah, I right. like though I like that as well because it's got lightning on it, so you can play it as a secondary card. Yeah, but I like this. Well, I suppose it's got an up there as well, and these. But mm. I liked that because it's gain two charges and pay one charge if the affinity is not green. Maybe that's better actually. I think that I well oh this has a lightning on, on the, the bonus. The, that's why I picked though. him. Yeah. Pay one charge if affinity is not green. The thing is, you see, I'll always oh. be able to. I'll always be able to play this because I always have. I have well, for a start, that's actually caution. Um, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, also, though, um, you can only play it obviously if there's a caution space. Yeah. Where there's always a space here. Having said that, I, this is very good actually because mm. this has also got a bonus up, which is really good. Okay. I think they're both really good. Yeah. Exactly. This one has. Tougher options on this side, actually. This one's better for you right now, because these two here are better for you than these two. Yeah. Because you've still... Oh, you do. You did get a spirituality. I did get a spirituality. But you only have one caution, actually. So playing off on this side, is this is your one? only one option, whereas this one has two options for yeah. you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I like this one. Yeah. De-escalation is good. I would take that. Yeah. I mean, it's less useful for going up on the track. Mm. It's really only going to save you if you're doing bad. Yeah. So I'm going to put my new I suppose it's best there to have a backup plan, isn't it? Yeah, put that in there. Alright, so there it is. Um, that was the event. So move the guardians. We don't have any um, activate things. We've gotten on to activate, so it's back to 
The day. The day. Should I guess mine? If you like. Yep. Mm-hmm. God, fucking hog all the turns. Well, I'll do the swimming and then you can go. <laughs> I'll just fuck it up again. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? Back at the Mirror Lake. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. Swim to the island on the lake. The swim is much... Oh. L- yes. Sorry. My bad. The swim is much longer than you expected. To make matters worse, something from the below brushes against your legs as you make your way toward the island. Your heart races. You go as fast as you can. You can. Your lungs almost bursting. Finally, you climb onto the shore, exhausted. This is no ordinary island. It seems to be made of the same bone-like material from which the four dwellers constructed their wall. While you rest, preparing to depart, you find an old sealed scroll tube in the crevice of the rock. Each party member loses an energy and gains a terror then gain the shadow soaked scroll item exploration ends oh. <laughs> shadow sc- show scroll item oh now I just have to look through here for that oh that's annoying so now I have two Tara <laughs> oh god what is it? I've not looked at these before I'm a little sad that I'm what I might do then dude is rest by the lake because it gets me my energy, and it reduces a terror. Mm-hmm. And it costs nothing. And it costs nothing. Yeah, man. Shadow-soaked scroll. That's what I said, right? Yeah. Please be something that gives magic. Here it is. Spend an energy. Move your character to any other revealed location. Gain two horror and discard this item. Oh. So basically it allows you to teleport. Yeah. For the cost of two terror. Yeah. No, we need the magic. <laughs> you should give me Excalibur sword. You should have done that while you're at the Titan Step, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, do you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> well, I might move into the... Um... thing is, if I move back into the first farm hold, I'm going to have to fight another purple thing. On the other hand, I'm quite good at it, and they usually give magic when they're dead. Yeah. So I might try that, actually. And then I can do an explore in there as well. Well, shall I? Shall I just spend one and go in tangled foot? Why? Because I might as well do something there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stupid it... seventh column to play that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to go in the? Well, I should. I should actually go down to scour the rack, really, because then I can get my experience point and go up my aggression, yeah. and I'll get magic, which is useful for energy. Though it's so inefficient. It's very expensive. I only get six, and I can only spend, like, five of them. Well, the thing is, you see, you've got to spend two to get there. Yeah. And then four, you'll be exhausted. Yeah. That's what I mean. I can only spend five of them without becoming exhausted. You've got to draw a purple thing on your way there as well. Yeah, I know. It sucks. (laughs) Honestly, why am I even here? (laughs) All right, so I move in here for one. And I have a purple encounter. Hopefully it's something good. Yeah, it's always good. Cool, the dream crawler. Oh my god. Level 14. 14. All contents of a burial mound merge together into a crawling discharge. Reward one rep. Is that it? I don't even want rep. I feel like you should just run away. <laughs> Um, running away costs me nothing. Shatter and slow. Hang on, what is that? Shatter. At the end of the encounter, discard all used weapons. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't use my weapon? Hmm. How do we know when I've used it? I suppose if you put the cube on it, that's using it, isn't it? Slow. Slow. (laughs) You get an extra combat card when fighting it. So that's actually in my favor. Um, well, I guess I won't use the old Steel Smasher then because I don't want to lose it. Uh, run away, dude. Yeah, it's not worth it. Seems very heavy for not a lot of loot. I must spend an energy to run away, but it, he'll get the opportunity attack, which is to discard two cards. I haven't played any, so... Yeah. Uh, let's just run away. I can't be bothered dealing with this. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Bye. So now, I guess... I'm down to just two energy left, so maybe I'll just explore the first farm hold. Yeah. There's bound to be magic in a place belonging to the first something. 
Sure. <laughs> sure. One heckin' explore, please, Michael. 117. 117. Have you read when the fir- humans first set foot on Avalon? No. Do no. you want to read it? Yeah. When humans first set foot on Avalon, they occupied a small strip of land ripped away from the weirdness by Arthur's, Arthur's druid, Merlin. Besieged by horrors and ancient powers, they raised the round fort of Tinta, Tintagel and survived for three long years within its walls, repelling assaults and devising ways to journey deeper inland. After the conquest ended, only a small farm hold remained here near the fort. Unfortunately, the local men here, being the oldest, was also the first to go dark. Do we have part two of Remnants? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Uh, so we go to verse 19. The settlement is still in its early days, but settlers like it well enough. They are ready to repay your kindness should you ever need it. If there's no time token on this location, and you have fewer than three food... I have more than three food. Gain two food and put a time token on this location. Exploration ends. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. There's no, I don't actually do anything? No. Nope. Well, that was a waste of energy. Yep. How have we mixed up our models? Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess you must have moved out my model when you left Titan Steps. We need part two of Remnants. To do something in there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't have that, so... Life is sad. I guess for my final energy, then, I'll just move down here into the Derog fleet. Makes sense. Um, cool. And then we'll... Unless there's some useful dream. Do you think I should stay and have the dream at the first farm hold? Mm. But then I wouldn't be doing anything with my last energy. You could have a list. dream at the derelict fleet instead. Yep, yeah, sure, that'll be super useful. Cool, I'm all done. I'm tapped out. Uh, I have loads to do. Do you like explore Tangled Fort? If you like. Yeah. Oh no, you explored Tangled Fort, you fool, you die. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say that. You should have known better than to attack Tangled Foot. Tangled Root, it's not even Tangled Foot. Oh. <laughs> The oldest and largest forest of Avalon is split in half by a deep gorge. Roots of enormous trees burst out of its slopes and turn the trail from the south to the north of the island into a dangerous maze. Wooden planks, suspended bridges, and lanterns, tended by the swarm brotherhood of trail keepers, make this road only slightly more manageable. As you enter, you hear human shouts and animal cries echoing deep in the gorge. You have the following options. Mm -hmm. Delve into the gorge. Visit the trail keeper's lodge. Leave. Just leave. I'll go into the gorge. Delve into the gorge. The central part of the gorge disappears to the north. Just after you enter, it branches off into several smaller ravines. Many tracks disappear into them, left in the clay on the bottom of the gorge. Why do we have nothing? (laughs) Do you want to hold this? Secrets. Let me Secrets. hold this. It's actually quite easy if you do it like this. Mm. Book of Secrets, keep them safe. I want to read the Book of Secrets. You hear a woman's shouts coming from deeper in the forest, mixed with the growls of some angry beast. Ignore the screams and go on your way. Or help her. Mm. Help her. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> you will die. <laughs> you approach the source of the shouts. A young woman desperately fights off a weird bear. <gasps> the creature mauls her badly and she falls to the ground. The beast now focuses on you. Uh oh. Place a dial near the events deck and set it to five. Um. How about I put it on the event deck? Mm hmm. Resolve the weird bear green encounter. Uh oh. <laughs> Didn't we just have that? Yep, here. Mm. Oh, level two. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. So here's the deal. Basically, you've gotta beat the bear before that dial runs out. Okay. Um, obviously, if the bear kills you, or the dial runs out, or you run away, then you fail. Okay. <laughs> right. So what I'll do is I'll get out the cool weird bear mini tomorrow and ready to play. Ah. We'll be back to see if 
Ailey can do it. I hope so. Do it. Do it. You might need to use the witch's brew. Uh, I think so. <laughs> cool. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. <laughs> the weird bear is back. He never left. Uh, he was here all along. He's gotten stronger. 